Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda Family. In this video, I am going to explain you PN junction in equilibrium under no bias condition. So before I start with explanation of PN junction, let us have a quick recap on what is N type and P type material that already I have explained in my last videos. But still, I just want to give brief idea about it so that you can understand how exactly PN junction formation is happening. So let us see first how n type material is there so when it comes to n type semiconductor material you should know in pure silicon material we are adding pentavalent impurities like phosphorus and as you add pentavalent impurities you will be adding free electrons as a charge carriers so here in n type semiconductor we add pentavalent impurities which results into additional charge carriers of electrons those are free electrons so here in n type we add pentavalent impurities means pi electrons are there in its outer orbit because of that there are free electrons here with every impurity we add one free electron over here like here if you observe one atom of phosphorus that is shown so with one phosphorus atom one free electron is added likewise number of free electrons that is depending on how many atoms of pentavalent impurities that we are adding over here it is also referred as donor impurity why the reason is here by adding pentavalent impurities we are adding free electrons so we are adding donor impurities means electrons impurities that's why it is referred as donor impurity over here by which we are adding free electrons impurities can be from group of phi group of phi means outer orbit will be having phi electrons for example, you can have phosphorus antimony. Majority charge carriers over here will be electrons and minority charge carriers over here will be holes. Now, let us see how P-type semiconductor material is there. So, in P-type semiconductor material, we add trivalent impurities like aluminum and by adding trivalent impurities, we are adding free hole over here. Free hole means one vacant space of electron, right? So, here see with travel and impurities usually we are adding free holes so majority charge carriers will be holes over here so as i have told you in p type we are adding travel and impurities means free electrons will be there in its outer orbit because of that there will be free charge carrier which will be hole with every impurity we add one free hole over here and that is referred as acceptor impurity why the reason is hole is having tendency to accept the electron that's why this is acceptor impurity. Impurity can be there from the third group like aluminum and boron. Those are the example of third group. Majority charge carriers over here will be holes and minority charge carriers over here will be electron. So, in short, you can say with n-type semiconductor material, we add free electrons. With p-type semiconductor material, we add holes based on impurities. Now, I'll explain you as if we diffuse P and N material together, then what will happen at junction, which is referred as P N junction. Let us see how it is happening. So, here we are having P type material, and here we are having N type material, and these two materials are getting diffused over here. So, at junction, few interesting things are happening. Here at P type, we are having majority carriers, those are holes. So, holes are having tendency to accept the electron. N type is having majority carriers which are electrons. So, electrons are free over here, right. So, at junction what will happen? You see, at junction at P side there will be formation of negative ions. Why there is a formation of negative ions? The reason is here holes are there and those holes are getting diffused with electrons of N type. So, these holes will accept electrons, right. So, they are accepting negative charge carriers. That is why it is forming negative ion over here. So, when we diffuse P and N material, at that time, at the side of P type, electrons are diffused with the holes of P type. That is why there will be formation of negative ions. While at N side, electrons are donated. So, here as negative charges are donated, at the side of n type there will be formation of positive ions so you should know my dear students at p side electrons are diffused inside holes of p type 
so at p type there will be negative charge carriers that is getting accepted that's why it is forming negative ions at the side of n type free electrons are there those free electrons are combining with holes that's why at n type there will be donation of electrons means donation of negative charge carriers that's why it is forming positive ions right now see here as these ions are getting formed there can be potential barrier over here why the reason is positive ions and negative ions that is how those are arranged over here which is forming potential barrier and this region is called depletion region right and here width of this depletion region that is w which is width of depletion region at p side that is wp plus width of depletion region at n side that is wn addition of this two that is wp plus wn that is width of depletion region in my next coming videos i'll be going to explain you how to derive this depletion region width but right now you should know depletion region that is a space in which ion formation is there at p side there will be negative ions at n side there is positive ions and that region is called depletion region and it is also referred as space charge region right so you can observe this region that is space charge region and width is w that is w p plus w n in future coming videos i'll be deriving this width of depletion region even at space charge region or depletion region ions generate potential so this ions will be generating potential that is referred as potential barrier so this ions will be forming potential that is called potential barrier see that formula of potential barrier derivation that even i'll be going to explain you in future coming videos but first you need to understand because of generation of ions there is potential generation and that potential is potential barrier right here see positive ions will repel hole so here we are having positive ions that will be repelling holes which are coming from p type and negative ions will repel electrons so here we are having negative ions they will be now repelling electrons which are coming from this side right so because of this positive ions and negative ions it will repel charge carriers of p type and n type which will prevent further movement of charge carriers and that prevention is happening because of potential barrier right negative ions will repel electrons positive ions will repel holes so because of those ions you can say there will be wall and that wall will not allow flow of charge carriers because of that potential barrier at 300 kelvin silicon is having 0.7 voltage of potential barrier and germanium is having 0.3 voltage of potential barrier so that is how potential barriers are there and here one more thing that you need to know see due to this potential barrier there is a formation of electric field and you should know electric field will be emerging from positive ions and it will go towards negative ions so that is how electric field will be there right so electric field direction will be there from n type to p type in this depletion region and this electric field derivation even i'll be doing it in next future coming videos right so you just see this video in sequence definitely you will get to know like how things are happening and how i am deriving all those formulas even so first you should know how basics are there after that it will be easier for you to derive all those things i hope you have understood this still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video